Hello. Justin? Oh, hello. Justin. Hello? Oh, oh shit, shit. shit. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the vlog here. Um, so this is my house. Bought my first house like four months ago now. I know it's kind of overdue doing a video like this, but I don't know, like same thing with the WRX. I just, um, I didn't really feel like a, a huge need to post content about it but I really do want to like show you guys this stuff I think it's it's motivating at least for me when I see other people going out and achieving stuff um, I just think it's really fucking motivating so I want to show you that and then quick tangent I am actually gonna get another car I'm gonna trade in the WRX here soon so stay tuned on uh, for a video on that and what car I get and taking delivery of it and all that stuff I think it's gonna be really cool and I plan on incorporating more content overall and actually modding my car and like making it mine so I'm really excited about that but anyway Let's walk inside the house, I'll show you around, and then we will hit the gym. All right guys, welcome to my casa. One of the first things we really liked about this house was just like having a big door. I've never had that before. Oh, the pups. <laughs> Cute pups. Yeah, so this is one of the first things that just grabbed us about this house. It's like you walk in really high, it goes straight up into the, uh, you know, the upper upstairs game room. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you Gina's. This was a study, we just made it Gina's office. Really nice and uh, comfy in there. Dining room, still have yet to use this, uh, this table yet, but we'll get around to it. And then this is really what just grabbed this house. Like we walked in and we were like, whoa. Cause like one, all this counter space. And keep in mind, we're coming from a little thousand square foot place where it was like, we had half this much room in our kitchen. So we were like squeezing by each other. And so we have like this much room is just, it's so nice. Um, just big open area, high ceilings. And we really went all out on this couch. One, we like having people over, like having all our friends over. And it's just so comfortable. Like I'm telling you, I could sleep. I would be totally fine sleeping on this couch instead of the bed. It's just that comfy. Oh. You wanna try Honda? <laughs> I'd say the, the main thing we wanna do in here, like I really like this room, super homey. You can obviously tell I did. I took no part in the decorating, that was all Gina. Um, but probably the main thing we wanna do right now is just get a bigger TV, like that TV's a little bit small for the room. And then obviously have the, uh, the wires fed through because the wires hanging off is just really ugly. Coming to the master bedroom. Now obviously uh, this crate, this giant crate in the middle of the room kind of takes away from it a little bit, but uh, Cora's still a little shit, so gotta keep her contained. She does love that crate though. We don't like force her in there. She'll, she'll go in there herself. Uh, but we love this bedroom. I like the ceiling cut out. We actually already had like everything painted white besides the ceiling. It was more like brown in here, which really brightened the place up and just made it feel bigger. Gina, of course, picked that. Gina picked everything. Any decoration you see, Gina picked it. Don't lie, you picked it all. Whatever. But I do really like that headboard from Thailand. This is my little, my little closet here. And then Gina, well first the bathroom, which is a solid size. We really like the glass <laughs> shower. What? What's that? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Gina's she's getting ready. Uh, I, honestly, this is a necessity. For any couple, having your own little just private spot to take shit is crucial. You know, Honestly, that's my that's my personal space. Um, <laughs> this is Gina's big ass walk-in closet. It's really nice. Double sinks, a must. And that was also something that was just really nice coming from such a tiny, tiny place. Um, Cause we had to squeeze by each other everywhere in that house. So it's just like, I, I appreciate space so much more now. Something else we really liked about this house was just like all the big windows and natural lighting. Um, come out here onto the deck. Yeah, and this was also like a big grabber for us, just kind of being on the water. It's man-made, but it's just, I love staring out over the water. We have a little uh, boat we go out, out on and um, yeah, it's just really chill. Backyard's not too big, but there is a dog run. So like the dogs will run through there all around. So works perfect for us. And of course, nice outside grill has come in clutch. 
yeah, I love it out here, especially, I just can't wait for it to get a tad cooler. Um, like we've had a few cool days and on those days, it's amazing just sit out here and just take this all in. I love it. Cool. So guest, guests and slash dog slash laundry hallway. Uh, for one, I, I highly recommend these. If you guys ever are in a position where you're getting your own washer and dryers, I highly recommend these, these Samsung ones. They're actually really good. Um, guest bath, and then this is like a nice little just dog area slash cleaning storage. You know, nothing too exciting in there. All right, so we are upstairs. So our buddy Reese is actually renting a room from us. That's his room in there. It's actually like a Jack and Jill setup, you know, maybe one day for kids. Not too soon though. This is the guest bedroom slash guest office. Another little closet in there. And then come out here. This is gonna be, this is like, if you can't tell, this is more of like the, uh, nothing too too exciting up here yet, but this is definitely more of like the man cave. Um, hence like this trippy, cool space guy. <laughs> Obviously, we gotta get a TV up in here, get some more games going. I like to bring my PC out here sometimes. Um, like when I have people over and break out the VR, like the Oculus Rift. I don't know if you guys have ever used that, but it's really cool. And then this is my office. Um, again, nothing too special yet. I bought this gaming desk, but then I was just sitting all the time. So I moved it back to my, my like VersaDesk attachment which allows me to stand just so I'm not sitting all day. As you can see, I clearly have a energy drink problem. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, pretty much what I wanna do with this room is obviously get rid of one of these desks. To be completely honest, I'm probably gonna get rid of both of them or like sell them and then get an L desk that also stands, like the electric standing ones. So that way I can kind of have best of both worlds because right now it's just like, <laughs> it's all over the place starting to get some Arnold motivation. Like fun fact, I have never hung up anything in my rooms until I, until we moved here. Like I've never hung up anything in my life. So I got, you know, Muhammad Ali, little motivational, motivational canvas right there. Got some Arnold, got a whiteboard, <laughs> which I still haven't erased since the one video I used that for. And then I'm not even gonna show you that closet cause it's basically just extra storage right now. But yeah guys, I mean, this is, this is my house pretty much, you know? Um, I love being able to look out from almost every room and see water. It's just really nice. I love all the space. Like it's just, it, it's really, it's perfect for us. Um, obviously there's still some more stuff we want to do to it. But yeah guys, this is, this is it. And just for some, some quick details, like part of the reason we moved to Texas, aside from just being around the right people and athlete and stuff um, and being closer to family was the real estate, dude. It is. It's so good here. This is a little over uh, 3,500 square feet and we got it at uh, 355K. So just, I, I, I love it, dude. Like when you think about it, we were paying, in Tampa, we were paying uh, 17.75 per month for like a thousand square feet. And now like including more, including like everything, we're paying 2,500 for 3,500 square feet. You know, so it's pretty awesome. Like when you just take the bare mortgage, like without escrow and everything, it's like 1500, which is pretty insane when you think about that. So that's it guys, that's my house. I obviously want to uh, spice it up a little bit, keep adding stuff to it. Um, definitely make this game room like more of a really cool game room, get a, a trophy shelf for all of our trophies we have and future trophies. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like the house. We're gonna go crush uh, some arms and shoulders, show you guys how to get freaking swole. And uh, that's it, guys. See you at the gym. What's up, dude? Sorry, yeah, we, we vlogged. Yo, by the way, so I've tried this, I've tried this pre for like a week. This is like one of the only pre workouts where I've had people message me, like, yo, do it, like, because I just showed I was taking it. And they're like, dude, do a, do a review on it and uh honestly i would definitely say this is one of my the top three per three workouts i've ever taken probably top two like this and ghost um one thing i gotta say about this is it like it just makes you feel good like it just it, like it feels good pumps are really good and it's not too heavy on it's only 180 milligrams of caffeine i don't feel like over simulated or anything like that so definitely recommend it it's a good one it's another level this is matt by the way guys he's never been in one of my videos you guys know Jack. what's up guys uh, all the way from cleveland ohio i moved yeah, here about two weeks ago 18 and a half hour drive we're here now so time to fucking crush it dude i'm trying to get shoulders like this guy yeah, fucking right, dude. Like, you just 
Christ, your, your jokes pop the fuck off, dude. Nah, not not right. even compared. We got, we got uh, three sets of ten dumbbell shoulder press to start. so painful right now but like in a great way of course but yeah like it's actually inhibiting how much I can even lift Incline front raise, 12 reps into side raises, into rear flies, 12, 15, 15. Shoulders about to be fucking juicy.
Dumbbell curls for 12. Super set with cable curls for 20. Nick's trying to fucking kill me. Yeah, that does it for for the workout. Matt, what'd you think of this workout, dude? High rep, absolute destruction. I, I'm used to like training slightly he heavier with lower reps, and this just kind of like sparked a new, I guess, not like a new training style, but a new just like, I guess, uh, outlook on training. So, <laughs> oh fuck yeah, high rep, absolute, just like I'm, I'm pumped up. It, it, so it's, it's been a while amazing. since you've, you've hit a workout. Yeah, it like has that. been. It That's has. cool. It's, been a while. it's heavy cellular swelling. Chad, what'd you think of that workout? It's good, Ben. Um, I'm sitting 14 days out right now, and this, this is the second week on this training block with Justin, and it's definitely a lot more intense as far as volume goes, uh, but I feel like it's definitely, you know, created a stimulus to not, like, wake me up in a sense. Yeah. It's like, you know, this is new, it's more intense. You kind of have to, like, even though you're flat, so even though you're you're flat, you yeah. still got a pump from that workout, yeah. right? Like, yeah. that's... Yeah. That's saying crazy a lot. Pump, but I got a pump. Right, right. <laughs> At least you got something, dude. Yeah. At least you got something. Exactly. Yeah, if there was ever a boner of a workout, that's <laughs> it right there. Just fully engorged, you know? Oh, shit. <laughs> that is <just> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I had to say that. With that said. Well, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, guys. So thank you for watching. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.